Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, before we begin this webinar, I will inform the rules uh, express. Uh, at first, uh, participants of the international webinar, webinar allowed to enter the Zoom uh, 10 minutes before the event uh, start. And the next participant of the international webinar, webinar shall use full name identify, identify according to the registration form. And the next uh, participants of the international webinar, webinar use your loss and need codes. Uh, and the next uh, participant of the international webinar, webinar series are required to turn on the camera and turn off the microphone. And the next uh, participant of the international webinar, webinar can ask question in the chat column and will be read by the moderator during uh, the question and answer session. And the next uh, participant of the international webinar, webinar are not allowed to leave the Zoom meeting during the event. It is my pleasure to be moderator uh, for today's occasion. I am Anissa Azara. On behalf of the committee, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to the all of you. We appreciate for your taking your time of your busy schedule to join us today. So welcome to the Seven Student Research Expo, improving pronunciation and confidence in speaking English. Helped by English Education Study Program, Faculty of Teaching and Educational Science, Ashafia Islamic University. To live up our discussion this afternoon, we have seven presenters. They are Ayu Azizah, Hidaullah Hasana Ahmad, Fitri Rahayu, Laura Izatulaila, M. Daryl Rahmadin Agus, Hanna Nur Fauzia, and the last, Rega Estika Dinda Safitri. To facilitate presentation activities, I'm Anissa Azara. I will try to host the event until, until it is finished. To make our discussion run smoothly, the seven presenter will be invited to present the paper until it is finished. For all participants, please turn off your speaker during presentation. For question and answer session, we will begin after the presentation is finished. Please write your question through chat room by mentioning your name, affiliation, and your question. Let's invite our first speaker, Ayu Aziza. Time is yours. Oke, okay, thank you for the moderator. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Ayu Aziza. Today I would like to present uh, my mini research about optimizing of using U dictionary application in learning English pronunciation. Okay, next slide please. Table of content, introduction, uh, the first introduction, the second uh, literature review, uh, the third uh, methodology, result and discussion, and the last uh, conclusion. Next slide. Uh, introduction, background of the background of the problem. English is an important international language. It is widely used in many uh, in many countries as the main language. However, for Indonesian people, uh, learning English is not easy because it is not a first or second language, but a foreign language. Many Indonesian people have already learned a foreign language, like the English, uh, like the English language. However, they do not uh, use that for everyday language, so it will be difficult for them to be able master the language. Moreover, uh, among the several components of the English language, one of the most challenging part is pronunciation. 
in the digital era, there are many ways for people make it easier for students to learn uh, whatever they want. One of them here is the U Dictionary application that can be accessed by students easily and quickly for students to learn English vocabulary and pronunciation that is difficult for students. Research problem, how are student perception of using the U Dictionary application in learning English pronunciation? The aim of the research, to find a student pronunciation, uh, a student perception of using the U dictionary application in learning English pronunciation. Next slide. Okay, uh, literature review. Uh, the first one is uh, pronunciation. According to Chris Monica at all 2021, pronunciation is one of the important aspect in English, especially in oral communication. Every sound, stress pattern, and intonation may convey meaning. Technology. Uh, learning technology are implemented in higher edu uh, education institution to enhance teaching and uh, teaching and meet external challenges and demands. Uh, U dictionary. U, dic uh, U dictionary is one of the digital media application which is include into a dictionary. Uh, according to Safina and Rahardianto uh, at uh, 2019. Next slide. Okay, methodology. Methodology. Research design. This research employ a qualitative as a research design settings. This uh, research was conducted online by WhatsApp application. Data was uh, was collected from June to two thousand and twenty two. Participant. The, uh, the subject of this research were five students from the sixth semester of the English study program. Student at Asafia Islamic University. Data, collect, uh, data, uh, data collection technique, data collection is done by interviewing the, uh, interviewing the respondent, uh, data analy uh, analysis technique, the data collected from the inter uh, interviews were analyzed descriptively. Okay, next slide. Result and discussion. From all the results of the interview above, it can be concluded that most of the perception of participants in using the U Dictionary application in pronunciation in pronunciation learning state that the U Dictionary application is very helpful and make it easier for them to learn vocabulary meanings, especially in learning words uh, that are difficult to pronounce. It was supported by Yolanda uh, 2020, which said that the U Dictionary is one of mobile application dictionary that can be accessed using uh, a smartphone that practice to be used. It was easier for the learner to assist her in English learning uh, that brings the big dictionaries, which were heavy and was time to find words. Okay, next slide. And the last conclusion, after researching the student perception of using U Dictionary and learning pronunciation at Asafia Islamic University, the writer uh, draws some conclusion. U Dictionary application is not only a dictionary, but has many features in it, is useful for English learners. The English student uh, Asafia in Asafia Islamic University believe that U Dictionary application can help them learn the meaning of vocabulary and how uh, to pronounce words correctly. This app is also uh, practical for overcoming difficulties in learning pronunciation in fun way. Your dictionary also benefits students because the feature is useful, helpful, and easy to access and free to download. The constraint that the English student face uh, were the signal. Uh, if, the, if there were a problem with the signal, uh, then the application has a problem so that its feature cannot be used. The other constraint is that is that ads on the U Dictionary application make users uncomfortable using the features. Okay, next slide. Okay, maybe that's enough from me. Thank you uh, for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, Ms. Ayu, for the presentation. Uh, now, we would like to invite our second speaker, Ida'ul Hasan Ahmad. Time is yours. Okay, thank you, moderator, for the time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi Good afternoon all audiences. I hope that we are all in good condition. Honorable to all lectures and all participants who are willing to attend this event. My name is Nida Ul Hasan Ahmad. And in this opportunity, I would like to present about my mini research by title, The Influence of Wonderlearn by Eranitri to Enhance Students' Pronunciation. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Okay, and here is the table of content. For the first is introduction. So the second is literature review. So the third is research methodology. So the fourth is result and discussion. And the last one is conclusion. So let me begin with the introduction. Okay. Uh, Introduction and the first is background of the problem. The most common problems are that students are often not fluent in English. This is due to a lack of habit to speak English. And the second is that students tend to seem to think ahead of time what to say. And the third is that they don't have enough vocabulary and cannot pronounce it properly. And TikTok, as one of the most popular apps, has greatly influenced the crowd of its users due to its availability for the educational purposes and the growth of content creators that teach everything based on their no background knowledge takes positive impacts on people who watch their videos, and especially videos that enhance pronunciation and the usage of it. And one of the most interesting content is Wonderland. In Wonderland, we are invited to learn English in a fun way because we can listen to how to pronounce English correctly and also get a lot of new vocabulary while being presented with interesting and entertaining vlogs. And what about the research question? And the research question here is, how does the influence of Wonderland by Eranitri to enhance students' pronunciation? And the aim of this research is to know the influence of Wonderland by Eranitri to students' pronunciation. So next slide, I'm going to tell you about the literature review. The first is about teaching media. And according to Arshad 2009, page four, teaching media is a media that bring instructional purpose of messages or information of learning. So the second is wonder learn and wonder learn comes from the word wonder and learn where wonder is to go about from place to place usually without a plan or definite purpose and it is educational content that we can use to learn English. So the third is pronunciation. According to Kelly 2000, pronunciation is the ability to use the correct stress, rhythm and intonation of word in a spoken language. So next I'm going to tell you about the research methodology in my mini research. Next slide, please. Okay, for the first, uh, <clears throat> this research employed a quantitative as research design. And what about the setting? This research was conducted online and the time of the research began in 30 June <clears throat> to 13 July, 2022, which was for two weeks. And 20 students of six semester of 2019 and 2020, academic year of English education department in Ashafi'iya Islamic University were involved as participant in this research. So the fourth is data collection technique. And the, the data collection technique in this research is experimental research. And the last one is the data analysis technique in this research is t -test. Next is about the result. Okay, as you can see on the screen, uh, the data showed in table was the result of pre-test and post-test. The data from the table presented that there was improvement between pre-test and post-test result. It means that there is a wonderland effect to strengthen students' pronunciation between before and after watching it. Meanwhile, Wonderland's contribution to the improvement of students' pronunciation is 94%, and it means that 94% increase in the students' pronunciation ability is due to Wonderland, and the remaining 6% is due to other factors. So next. So next is about the conclusion. From the research result, it can conclude it that the research questions have been answered and unexpectedly pronunciation received positive feedbacks from the students and the students' pronunciation from the test was encouraged up and better from time to time. It can, it can be implicated that students' pronunciation was enhanced because they have new experiences in learning the language. So it is evidence of the research 
that proved the influence of Wonderland in enhancing students' pronunciation was very effective with the result of students' tests showed drastically increased. Next slide. Okay, here are the references in my mini research. And I think that's all from my presentation today. Hopefully what I present today will be beneficial for us. And thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, Nida Ul Hasan Ahmad, for the evening. Okay, uh, now we would like to invite the speaker, Putri Rahayu, time is yours. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are in good health and happy situation. So let me introduce myself. I'm Fitra Hayu, and I'm so glad to greet all of you in this occasion, even though just through the meeting. Well, uh, without wasting of time, allow me to give you guys the results of my research that I have done. Um, where is the PPT? I'm sorry. <laughs> OK, thank you. So I choose the title uh, Using English Songs to Improve Pronunciation. And I was guided by Ms. Hana Amanda, Master of Education in the preparation of this expo event. All right, let's get started. Next slide, please. Why choose the title of this research? Because uh, song is a form of someone's creativity combined with the music that is listened to by millions of people in the world. Uh, through English songs, people begin to imitate the lyrics by singing them. This subconsciously makes them practice their English pronunciation following the singer. In other words, songs become one of the tools to improve pronunciation skills. And the research question, it is effective for students on using English songs to work to their pronunciation. And the aim of study uh, is to find out what aspect of development can improve by using English songs toward the student's pronunciation. Next slide, please. So the literature review. Song is sound art in the form of lyrics or revealing musical composition, thought, and feelings of its creator through elements of music, namely rhythm, melody, harmony, and expression as a unit, According to Koyria 2017, and the pronunciation is a science about the ways how words pronounced are spoken. Learners who study the field of the science will learn about two main things, namely vowels and consonant. According to Endahati Nafisa 2014. Next slide, please. The research methodology. This research conducted with a qualitative approach with ease through the following steps. Researchers read several studies as references. Researchers collected the data result from several aspects. Sort person, researchers choose five students from SMAN 01 Nadati Batch 2021 and 2022 as research subject. Location, the researcher conducted a research involving students of SMAN 01 Nadati in Banjarnegara and using the meeting. Researchers used interview instruments to analyze students' opinions of using English songs in learning English. The researcher prepared six questions to analyze students' point of view of using songs in practicing their English pronunciation. Next slide, please. And the finding and result. From the data result, it can be concluded that using English songs to improve pronunciation skills can be considered as an effective method. This method proven to increasing students' interest in English in learning English, sorry, listening to English songs indirectly trends three important aspects, namely listening, speaking, and also increasing vocabulary, which is of course very much needed by students in learning English. Next slide. So the conclusion from the result of the research conducted, it can be concluded the student's point of view of the effect of English songs on pronunciation skills are positive. Where they think English songs help them practice pronunciation in a fun and easy method, this study also found that by listening to songs, several aspects of English language skills can be achieved not only from pronunciation skills, but also listening skills and increasing English vocabulary. From listening to English songs, students are also motivated to find out the meaning of the lyrics and the meaning contained. This is, of course, an added value that students like listening to English songs in motivating and achieving good training results. Okay, next slide. 
All right, everyone, that's the outline of my research that I can convey on this occasion. I know this research may be not perfect yet, but thank you for your attention. Have a nice day, and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, thank you very much, Miss Fitri, uh, for the presentation. Uh, next, we would like to invite our fourth speaker, Laura Izatun Laila. Time is yours. Okay, thank you, moderator, for the time. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, again. And the Honorable Mr. and Mrs. Lecters, who have taken the time and are willing to attend this research expo, and all beloved participants. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Laura Izzatulayla, and in this opportunity, I would like to present my research with the title, Students' Perception on the Use of Debate in Improving Student Speaking Skills. So let's get started and pay attention, please. Next slide, please. The table of contents. The first is introduction, second literature review, the third is research methodology, the fourth result, and the last one is conclusion. Next slide. Okay, the first we will discuss about introduction. Background of the problem. Speaking skills taught in schools are considered difficult for most students. This is because speaking skills require vocabulary and expressions, as well as the correct pronunciation of students in expressing their ideas, thoughts, and experiences as a whole and communicatively, according to NOVA and Brinda 2020. Students' problems with speaking English include a lack of confidence and fear of making mistakes or inaccuracies while speaking, as well as lack of vocabulary and poor pronunciation. Therefore, debate could be the solution to teaching speaking for students. Debating is about developing our communication skills, according to Muspira 2019. Students will learn more by constructing and producing arguments, cooperating in groups, and sharing knowledge. And through debate, students will enhance their vocabulary, pronunciation, and confidence. Next slide, please. There are two research questions in the study. The first is about to describe how to apply debating class. And the second is to find out how students respond to the use of debating class. And there are two research objectives in the study. The first is how does the implementation of debating in the classroom? Second is how does the student's perception after following the debating class? Next slide, please. Second is literature review. The first is perception. According to George and Jones, 2005, event perception as the process by which an individual chooses, arranges, and interprets the information from their sense, sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. It can be concluded that perception occurs because there is an object or stimulus to be captured by the five senses. Then the stimulus or object of attention is brought to the brain. With the stimulus, then the brain makes an impression or answer, which is the perception from the observation of the five senses. And the second is speaking skills. According to Hasri and 2020, speaking is an oral communication that involves two elements. The first is the speaker is someone who gives the message. And second is the listener is someone who receives the message. It means that without speaker and listener, there is no communication. Debate, according to Krieger in Dodi 2019, debate is a great exercise for language learning since it involves students in a variety of verbal and cognitive activities. It's called cognitive activity because debate can train students to have a strong memory, think critically, and use language that is easy to understand. Next slide, please. Next slide, okay. The third is about research methodology. The research design used in this research is a qualitative approach with a descriptive method. There are five undergraduate students from six semester of English education study program, faculty of teaching and educational science at Shafi Islamic University, Jakarta as participants. And the researcher used the purposive sampling technique to determine the environment in this study. The determination of the sample is based on the following considerations. The first is attend the debate class in fifth semester. Second, students knowledge. students' knowledge of the parliamentary system that is the British parliamentary system that is almost the same. And the third is the ability to understand English is almost the same. And the fourth is they are generally almost in the same age, which is 21st years old. And the last one is their status is generally the same, namely in sixth semester. Next slide, please. Data collection technique. 
Researcher use semi-structured interview to collecting data. The question type of the interview related to the student's opinions or perspectives after following debating class to improve their speaking skills. There are three data analysis techniques. The first is data reduction, is the process of reducing the amount of capacity required to store data. And second is data display. It means an organized, compressed assembly of information, and the last one is drawing conclusion. It refers to information that is implied or inferred. Next slide, please. Fourth is result. The data presentation showed that students had the positive perceptions on the use of debate in improving students' speaking skills. This can be seen from the result of the interview below. The first is debate teaches students to think before speaking because they wrote their, their argument on their outline to help them speak systematically. The debate member stated their argument clearly so the audience got their points. And second is students agree that debate activities help them to improve their speaking skills because they will continue to practice their speaking before the debate started. And the third is debate helps students to enrich their vocabulary because the topic given for debate will make them read a lot of articles or look for accurate information to defend their argument and also help them to enrich new vocabulary. And the last is student self-confidence increased through debate activities. Even some students made mistakes in pronunciation. However, the instructor and other students didn't mock him or her, but corrected the mistakes respectfully. So the debater or speaker do not feel ashamed to speak. Next slide, please. The last one is about conclusions. Based on the result of this study, it can be concluded that the students' speaking skills improve after attending the debating class. This is related to the purpose of this study, which is to find out whether a debate improves students' speaking skills in six semester students of the English Education Study Program at the Ashraf Islamic University or not. They enrich new vocabulary, fix their pronunciation, and gain confidence in public speaking by using debate. Okay, next slide. Okay, I think that's enough for me. Thank you for your attention. And back to moderator. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Laura, uh, for the presentation. Next, we would like to invite our uh, uh, five speaker, M. Dali Rahmadin Agus. Time is yours. Okay, uh, thank you for the moderator. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, first, I will please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Dara Rahmadin Agus. You can call me Daryl. Uh, today, I, I will today share uh, my presentation about the, about the student presentation on watching fantasy film to improve speaking skill. Uh, next slide. Okay, the first I want to do tell about the uh, introduction. Why did I choose the title of these teachers? Uh, because uh, I wanted to know about the level how they speak after the student watch a fantasy film. And I want uh, to know how many of their students like the fantasy film then I'm really interested with the speaking. Uh, the second uh, is the is this question. The first, how does the student perception on watching fantasy movie to train a speaking skill? Okay, the, the, this is the purpose of this research. Uh, of course, it is said uh, to investigate uh, if English speaking skill of the student can be improved by watching fantasy film. Okay, uh, next slide. <clears throat> okay, uh, so this is next uh, re my research review. Uh, Haridi and Zamzani will say that speaking is essentially a communication process because in it, there is music for one source to another. Fantasy film are a genre that is unique because it can be combined with other genre. Without the exception, it can be widely developed, limited in general fantasy in movie alone, writing fictionally imagination shop, which is uh, unstable by the uh, Nisa Dia Ottaviani, 2019. For the writer speaking, it's a content to listener in the form of idea they have been complete and developed. Usually, the drive can be in the form of idea, tool, and idea. 
fantasy film are the film that have gender that can be combined. In this imaginary film, there are also story of imagination that we can play. Okay, next slide. Okay, so this is uh, my methodology. For this uh, research design, uh, it is used, I mean, uses a uh, descriptive quantitative. The first uh, is setting. As for the setting, the research is conducted at Universitas Isam Asyafia that is research was conducted on July. The second, a participant. For the participation of this study, the participation of this study was a colleague student of Universitas Isam Asyafia. Then for the number of study, there were 30 students. The students studied uh, this time were students who like a fantasy film. Okay, uh, the third is data creation technique. For data creation technique, I use this, uh, questionnaire and interview. A questionnaire it can be also be in the form of a, of a Google form or a paper that will be filled in by correct student in the question. There are 10 questions in the form of statement for 30 students Asia Islamic of University. And the interview, it can be for five students Asia Islamic of University with 10 questions. Okay, next slide. Uh, so this is the next uh, technical analysis data. Then for the technical analysis data, here you see the percentage. Then for the technical analysis of data, here you see the percentage. There is what is called a bar chart and where there are a number of questions. And there are also a number of those who answer, agree, and disagree. Okay, next slide. Research. From the, from the research that I made, I used the questionnaire in the form of statement and then it will be fed by a several departments at the Asia Fia Islamic University, which is a must be 30 response. The questionnaire that I made it has a follow. Okay, next. So this is uh, uh, the questionnaire presented. The first, I like to watch a fantasy movie every day. Uh, uh, there are uh, 35 and 3 percent, uh, this will be uh, 64 and 7 percent. Next. I often admit everything said in a fantasy movie, agree 45 and 7 percent, and this will be uh, is, is then, uh, 54 and 3 percent. Next slide. <clears throat> uh, third, a fantasy movie can improve my English speaking skill. The student agree at, at they are uh, 85 and 7 percent. This will be a 14 and 3 percent. Next. <clears throat> I really have a hard time in the word of in the film. Agree of 51 and 4 percent. This will be a 48 and 6 percent. Next. I like watching of fantasy movie. Uh, the student agree uh, they are a 76 and 5 percent. The student disagree, uh, they are 23 and 5 percent. Next slide. By watching uh, this fantasy film, I can practice my English speaking skill level. Uh, the student agree, they are 94 and 3 percent. And student disagree, uh, they are 0 percent. Oh, that's next. Uh, I feel that watching fantasy film can train us to speak English with French. Uh, agree, uh, they are uh, 91 and 4 percent. The student disagree, uh, they are 8 and 6 percent. Next. I watch a fantasy movie only uh, once a week. Agree, uh, they are 50, 57 and 6 percent. Uh, they are a disagree, uh, they are uh, 42 and 4 percent. That's right. I feel after watching this fantasy film, I can speak English fluently. Uh, okay. Uh, the student agree, uh, they are 54 and 3 percent. The student disagree, they are 45 and 7 percent. Next. <clears throat> uh, the last uh, presentation. Uh, watching this fantasy movie is very useful for me to practice my English speaking. Agree, they are the 94 and 3 percent. Disagree, they are the 0 percent. Next. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is uh, my interview. The table one and one, the result of interview question, the statement number one. Statement, I like to watch a fantasy movie every day. Respond. Agree, because I really, really like a fantasy film and I can also find out the content of the subtitle text in the fantasy film. The quantity one, disagree, because it's not every, uh, every day I watch a fantasy film because uh, I also have a very important text every study and studying and also I watch a fantasy film only occasionally. The quantity is four. Next. Okay, this is the second uh, statement. 
I often I feel that is say the fantasy film as well. Agree because that way I can draw the new frogcat in the film and I can burn those frogcat when this one is agree because I also don't really like watching fantasy movie when this one is agree because I also don't often imagine the world in fantasy film because whatever but the thing that uh thing are in fantasy film I really don't need not imitate uh when this three next. <clears throat> Next. Okay. Uh, the third statement, fantasy movie can improve my English speaking skill. Respond. Agree, because I also get to know you forget in fantasy film and the most important thing, it is the term of pronunciation in the film. One day two. Agree, because by watching fantasy film, I can practice speaking my English so that it becomes fluent and also in fantasy film, there are positive things that we can take to. One day two. Agree because in fantasy film there are new frog cap that I may not have heard of and that I have to run from this new frog cap. When this one, next. <clears throat> okay, uh, the first statement. I really have a hard time maintaining the word in the film. This one agree because in terms of our pronunciation with the people, there is very different because maybe it has become their everyday language. One is two. It's okay because no other word in the film that I have to follow. One is one. It's okay because when I was a, my uh, fantasy film, I still have the trouble speaking in, in this word. One is one. Uh, it's okay because I can still imitate the word said by the character in fa the fantasy film. One is one. Next. Okay, this is the last statement. I really have a hard time with the word in the film. That's one. Agree, because I like all the fantasy film that I was. Especially the genre in the fantasy film. One, this one. This agree, because I don't like watching fantasy film movie. And also not all fantasy movie. I like to watch one, this too. This agree, because I also don't watch fantasy movie very often. And I'm also very ready to watch fantasy movie. One, this two. Next slide. <clears throat> okay, uh, this is uh, my conclusion. Uh, from the conclusion of the study, uh, what can be learned from the title, improving English speaking skill by working fantasy, or working fantasy film can help the student to improve their English speaking skill. The author has seen the result of the questionnaire, then they feel it. The some of them agree that working fantasy film can facilitate speaking English. Some of them even agree if their English agree that they often watch fantasy film, but there are also some students who answer that. They do not agree if watching fantasy movie can facilitate English speaking, and there are still some students who don't agree if they often watch fantasy movie. Okay, next slide. <clears throat> okay, this is my suggestion. At the end of the research, the writer put some suggestion of the research. For the practice discard below, there are some suggestions. For students, students should always watch fantasy film and try to read the speaking English when they watch the fantasy film. So that the student can improve English speaking because their fantasy film is also very good for the student to watch. Second, for teacher, to assist and find out the student speaking. Sorry, can can back. For the teacher, to assist and find out the student speaking, the teacher must find a fantasy film that the student might like the fantasy film. Then the teacher must ask student to watch the fantasy film, and the teacher must also ask the student to tell us of the student film so that the teacher can assess speaking the student because watching the fantasy film is also very useful for them to practice their speaking. Third research. The author really hope to get to the title and this research. But the same would be very good if we practice all English by watching fantasy film that we really like to watch. Okay, uh, I think that's enough from me. Uh, thank you. Uh, sorry for any mistake. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Darrell, for the presentation. Uh, next, uh, we would like to invite our sixth speaker, Hana Nurfauzia. Time is yours. <laughs> Okay, thank you for the moderator. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Good afternoon, everyone. The Honorable All Director of UIA. In this chance, I give thanks to the participant who has given me 
time to present my study about comparative study on the personality of introvert and extrovert student in speaking class. First, next slide. First of all, I will read the table of content mini research. The first is introduction. The second is literature review. The third is methodology. The fourth is result. And the fifth is conclusion. Next slide, please. The next slide is introduction. The dominance of English academically or in other fields, especially in the era of the Industrial Revolution 4.0, cannot be denied. However, in recent years, the use of English has become increasingly popular in Indonesia and seems to have become a premier necessity for people in the country. The ability to speak seems to be the main target for English language learners, be it at the school, university, or general level. The next slide is based on the problem above this study in, is interested to elaborate this following question. How does introvert and extrovert person perceive speaking in in class, the aim of the research is for a comparative study in speaking class with introvert and extrovert student. Next slide, please. The next slide is literature review. Uh, the first is introvert. Based on Young theory, which states several characteristics of introvert people, especially in emotional or, or conflict situation, people with the personality stand with their and be alone, they prefer their own thoughts over talking other people. And the second is extrovert. According to Young, extrovert are influenced by an objective world outside of themselves. The orientation is focused on the mind. The basic feeling is mainly determined by the environment, both social and non-social. The third is speaking class. Speaking for most people in consider the most difficult skill because it includes many aspects of English language skill, including pronunciation, listening, grammar, and vocab vocabulary at, at once. But really, uh, all it takes it a little courage and great motivation to be able to speak English friendly. Next slide, please. Next slide is research methodology. Uh, the first is research design. This research was conducted using a quantitative descriptive method. Uh, the second is setting. This research was conducted general student from various universities. This research was conducted for one month in July. The third is sample. The subject of the this study were 30 general students from various universities. And the fourth is data collection technique. Data collection technique using a questionnaire in Google Form consisting of uh, 10 statements for 30 participants. And the last data analysis technique, data analysis technique using a percentage. Next slide, please. Next slide is result. The first 60.7% agree. And then 83.3% uh, disagree. The second is 66.7% agree, and then 33.3% disagree. Next slide. The third is 56.7% agree, and then 43.3% disagree. Uh, the fourth is 56.7% agree, and then 43.3% disagree. Next slide. The fifth is 66.7% uh, agree and then 30.3% disagree. Uh, the sixth is 83.3% uh, agree and then 16.7% disagree. Next slide, please. Okay, the seventh is 96.7% 90, agree and 3.3% disagree. The egg is 70% agree and 30% disagree. Next slide. 
Gen 9 is 43.3% agree and then 56.7% disagree. The 10 is 73.3% agree and then 26.7% disagree. Next slide, please. Okay, the last is conclusion. Uh, based on the result of the research conducted, it can be concluded that there are more introverts participants in speaking classes than extroverts participants in speaking classes. Okay, I think that's enough for me. Thank you for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam um, Thank you very much, Ms. Hana, for the presentation. Uh, next, we would like to invite our seventh speaker, Rega Estika Dinda Sampitri. Time is six. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thanks for the talk. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, moderator, for the time. And honorable our lecturer from Universitas Sofia and all my beloved participants. In, in the day, I'm Rega Estika Dinda Sampitri as the seven participant, seven, seven presenter. I will explain about mini research is about also speak as a media to try school student perception skill. This next slide. There are table of content. The first one, introduction, two, literature review, three, research methodology, four, result and discussion, and five, conclusion. Next slide, next slide please. This next slide. The first one, introduction. A pronunciation is one part that crucial in English, and you should you can speak with pronoun correctly, but in reality, some of people and in study students cannot speak English correctly. But in the school, teaching with learning media is so boring, but over time, the English learning media finally development and now comes Elsa speak a media to train student pronunciation skill. So Richard is interested to, uh, to research the phenomena. So in this study, Richard's question is, what student perspective toward Elsa speak as a media to train pronunciation skill? And the aim of Richard is to know the student perspective toward Elsa speak as a media to train pronunciation skill. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Is a literature review. The first one is a definition of pronunciation. According to Colin Dictionary, is the act or result of pronunciation, the sound of speech, and the element of pronunciation. According to sorry, uh, according to Baker one and Fanor Ruby 20, uh, 20, 40, 14, pronunciation have four elements. The first one is stress to rhythm, to pitch, and for intonation. And other opinion say pronunciation skill is a to ability to pronounce. And next one is definition of Elsa speak. According Elsa 2021, Elsa, English language speech assistant, is a fun the, and engaging app specially designed it to help you improve your English pronunciation. And, uh, and the last is feature of Elsa speak. According Elsa 2021, Elsa speak have some features. There are one and a coach that help you stay focused and motivate to real-time speech recognizing feedback and three, an intelligent adaptive learning system. Next slide, please. And this is research, uh, research methodology. The first one in the study, I'm using qualitative approach with a descriptive method. And the second is setting. Setting in this uh, study using via Google Meet on July 2020. And three participants, uh, I chose five students from eight grades in SMPN Pat Banjar. And uh, data collection, collection technique, I choose interview. And the five data analysis technique, I choose data analysis, data reduction, data display, and conclusion. Next slide, please. And, he, and here is a result and discussion. 
I'm uh, I have five categories. The first is the student experience using ASA Speak, and the result uh, the, the result of the interview show that four out of five respondents stated that they had good experience experience in using ASA Speak, and it can interpret it that this application is able to make its a user happy and satisfied so they can continue to use Elsa speak and until now and be the student perception of improving pronunciation skill use Elsa speak and based in the result students said Elsa speak is very helpful helpful in improving their pronunciation skill that it can be interpreted that the feature in edit such a real-time feedback are very helpful helpful for a student next slide please uh, and see the student perception of improving other skill use as a speak and this uh, perception i i ask uh, respondent uh, slide slide in pronunciation uh, pronunciation student uh, improving in other skill uh, some of participants uh, said that improving in speaking skill because uh, this will be confident to speak with native speaker. And some of them uh, state that uh, improving in writing skill because can write words and write words and show the correct grammar. grammar. And D, the student perception of content design Elsa Speak, based on the result, uh, student considered that Elsa Speak content is very good. This can be interpreted the content provided by Elsa can be can be in condense with the switch wish and needs of student. Next slide, please. Uh, the student perception of feature favorite in Elsa Speak. Uh, students that there are features such a real-time speech. Uh, recognition feedback, ELT certified courses, daily learning features, and personal coaching with their favorite features according to them. It's very useful to them and make them continue to use Elsa Speak until now. Next slide, please. Okay, this conclusion and suggestion based on the research finding and discussion, it can be concluded that the student perception toward Elsa Speak as a media to try pronunciation skill is very good. This is suggested to use uh, this application in pronunciation skill. Furthermore, the future researcher in the field suggested to study about the effective using Elsa Speak in speaking class. Next slide, please. Uh, this is references, the some references that I use in the study. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, thank you very much, Miss Rega, for the presentation. Uh, now it is time for a question and answer session. I will read the first question in the chat. Okay, if you have any question, you can raise hand or turn on your mic. Uh, good afternoon, ever, everyone. Uh, I would like to ask something the truth speaker about learning English with song. Sometimes a student have misheard uh, lyrics. How we how we sell the we start a lyrics for the students. Thank you. Okay, uh, maybe a uh, presenter uh, need time. Uh, wait a moment. Maybe next the questions. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I want to ask to the first speaker, Ayu Aziza, is the unique story application more effective uh, than Google Translate? Thank you. Miss Ayu Aziza. Are you ready for the answer? Thank 
Maybe the uh, next uh, questions. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, I'm Reni Nadia from Politics Communities Jakarta. Do I want to ask the second speaker? And my question is, among the many content creator who provide English learning education, why did you choose Wonderland coming from Iran? Um, Miss uh, Nida, can you answer? Or you need time? Um, maybe next uh, questions. Hi, I'm Salma. I want to ask some question for the presenter. Uh, first, it's my form MDRL because the topic is interesting. Well, in your opinion, it is better to learn English speaking by naturally hearing the conversation. Session is the fantasy movie, or it means that uh, without subtitle or short. I, as English learning, learners, uh, turn on subtitle while watching to learn English speaking. Uh, the second is for Fiti Rahayu. The question is, could you give me suggestion what songs are suitable or make it easier for us beginner English learners to learn for session easing? Thank you. <clears throat> okay, uh, can I try to answer? Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, so thank you uh, for the uh, question, uh, Salma. Uh, for question, uh, my opinion, uh, where we do learn English speaking by entering hearing the conversation in a fantasy movie, or maybe to that with a subtitle, or so ah, it's, it's, it's English learner to on subtitle when working to learn. Okay, that's a good question. Uh, I try to do answer with your question with my best answer. Uh, for my opinion, I think uh, when you uh, try to watch when fantasy film, maybe uh, my suggestion, yes, you can uh, to uh, maybe when you watch in fantasy film, maybe uh, in the application, maybe you can try to. Uh, turn on uh, your the subtitle, but the subtitle you have to be English. Why? Because I think uh, it can be very useful for you for your train your speaking skill. But if you, but it's okay if you want uh, to not uh, to turn off your uh, uh, subtitle. Maybe uh, you have to be careful. Uh, to the reason uh, uh, for, uh, when the people to speak and just like that. But uh, my suggestion, my suggestion, you have to turn on your subtitle. It can very be useful for train your speaking skill. It's very important for you to train your speaking skill when you are watching fantasy film. Yeah. That's my answer. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Daryl. Uh, maybe uh, I want to read again. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to ask the third speaker about uh, learning English with song. Sometimes a student have a misheard lyrics. How we solve the misheard lyrics for uh, the student? Thank you. Um, uh, presenter, uh, Trat. Okay, uh, I'll... thank you. Okay, thank you for the question. I want to answer the question that is the U dictionary application more effective than Google Translate? I think U dictionary is more effective than uh, Google Translate because in uh, U dictionary is there are many features for learning English such as learning pronunciation features, grammar features, and many uh, other features, uh, although there are some uh, some paid feature. 
uh, while uh, while in Google Translate, we can only translate and listen to how the word is pronounced. Maybe this enough from me. Uh, thank you, Miss Ayu. Uh, maybe next. Okay, Anissa, can I answer the question? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Liga Valiancha for listening to my presentation and for taking the time to ask questions. So in this global era, there are lots of music application that can be used. There are feature of lyrics, right? Which of course make it easier for students to follow the original singer in pronouncing the lyrics correctly. And hello, Salma, good afternoon. Hello, Salma. Can you hear me? <laughs> Yes, hello, good afternoon. Okay. Thank you for your question. So about songs that are suitable for learning, uh, you can start thinking about where your English level is. If you're a beginner, then use the nursery rhymes like Coco Melons <laughs> to learn the pronunciation of relatively easy words. And if you are already at the higher level, you can use the song you like so you don't get bored <laughs> when you're learning. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Fitri. Uh, uh, next, maybe uh, I will read again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, I'm Remy Nadia from Politeknas Kemenkes Jakarta 2. I want to ask the second speaker, and my question is, among the many content creators who provide English learning education, why do you choose when they learn uh, content from Aaron Wittri? Uh, Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Reni Nadila, for asking, and I'll try to answer the question. Uh, why do I choose Wonderlearn uh, by Eranitri? I choose Wonderlearn from Eranitri because it is packaged in interesting ways and explained in a dense and concise manner, but quite easy to understand. And because she packs a short talk about her journey by presenting beautiful video visualizations while inviting us to learn English in a fun way. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Miss Nida. Uh, next. Next uh, question. Hello, everyone. My name is Siti Sarah, and I'm a student from Siliwangi University. Uh, I would like to ask to Hana. My question is, if you are an English teacher in the future, what what will you do if uh, the uh, one day you, your student your student is an uh, introvert and still have NCT, NCT when speaking English, uh, especially in public? Even though we are as a teacher have a treat uh, to give uh, them strategies so as not to fail anxiety when uh, speaking English. Can you give me solution for for this problem? Sana, maybe you need time for the answer. Okay, thank you for the question. How to deal with introvert class? Uh, for the first, uh, give to the adapt, and the second, give a chance to choose and third uh, give a chance to appear okay thank you thank you miss hana um the next uh, thank you for all participants for sharing your knowledge and experience in uh, today's discussion and godless thank for all participants for your active participation for all participants uh, for all participants, please turn on your camera because we will take a picture together. For all participants, please turn on your camera because we will take a picture together. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, maybe uh, one more again. One, two, three.
sorry. Uh, thank you. Uh, dear participant, uh, for your information, this webinar in this fourth session of the second student research expo 20 and 22. It would like to invite you to join our next event, Seven Student Research Expo, Miracle of Teaching, Developing Fun Activities for Meaningful Learning tomorrow at 8 p.m. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That was the end of our webinar today and hope to see you all the next time. Thank you very much, participant. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wow. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. Thank you everyone for coming.